Sagittarius. Why are you so mysterious, baby? It is Mira. It is Shira. It is Vera. It is Scorpion Red Tarot. I am back at it again. One time for the one time. Yes, indeedy. Yes, indeedy. Happy New Year. We are in here for January 2021. Honey, we are here to have some fun. Shout out to all my OG. Shout out to all my newbies. Shout out to all my babies who have liked, shared, and subscribed and clicked this video. Listen in the past, present, and damn sure in the future. Shout out to all my future babies. All right. So I just want to just give a big thanks to everyone for sending big love and just, you know, the whole celebration in 2020. As messy and as crazy as it is, we had a little bit of fun. You know what I'm saying? We had a lot of fun. We shook a few tables and we got a little bit of stable, Father God. So in the name of Jesus, listen. Okay, we definitely got some stability going on around us. So, in the name, I just wanted to um, again just give a lot of big thanks. We got some new decks. We got the Edgar Allan Poe deck that came out um, that you guys sent to me um, around like the telling in December that we're going to be using today. So again, I just want to give a, a lot of big thanks. If there's anyone that would like to book a personal and private reading with me, check the description box of this video. It gives the price in and all of the details of how to connect with me on Instagram Messenger. If you don't have Instagram Messenger, go ahead and email me at scorpionreds at gmail.com. All right. And um, you can also find that information on the bio slash the about tab of my YouTube page. All right. So as we always do, we want to give the creator thanks and we want to give them acknowledgement before we go in and get any guidance today. So bow your heads with me. Father God, thank you so much for bringing us here for the sign of Sagittarius. Father God, we're here to get the guidance that we need. And, you know, we just want you to make it clear. Like, I know you're not going to tell us everything, exactly what we need to do. But we need to definitely get the guidance that we need so we can walk in the correct footsteps in the name of Jesus. Amen. We just want to make sure that we are just paying attention to the blessings and the knowledge that we are guided and we've been provided to father god we thank you so much for you know just looking over us and just patiently just keeping us you know on the correct journey on the correct path father god we're here just in search of our purpose and betterment and it's just a delight you know just to go through this journey i know sometimes it's not that easy but we're just still delighted to just see the progress that's been going on in our life and how we've been growing and the blessings that's been showing in our life in the name of jesus so we thank you for just creating all of these vast opportunities and chances to you know just procreate and to bring new life and bring new just like abundance into this world in the name of Jesus so give us guidance today for the sign of Sagittarius for January 2021 in Jesus name we pray amen amen and amen all right so let's get into this all right I have to bring that bell I like the way my candles is burning right now yes you know. like that let's see what we got for Sagittarius you guys Three cards for Sagittarius. We got the Seven of Wands in the reverse. All right. We got the Three of Wands. We got the Empress in the reverse. We got the Knight of Wands and the Hermit in the reverse. So. First, let me address this Hermit in reverse. This Hermit in reverse is like, they've already gone through this self introspection. They've already got the insight that they needed. They're tired of being secluded and keeping to their self. They're ready to reintroduce their self, you know, to the world with all of the just knowledge and all of the strength and all of the, you know, insight that they have, you know, come to thus far. They've coming out, it's like almost like an awakening, like an awakened mind, um, like a butterfly, you know. I'm ready to show people my wings. I've been in this, in this cocoon, in this seclusion. I've been growing. I've been developing myself. So I'm, I'm ready for people to 
understand who I am right now in the stage that I am. This seven of wands, um, to me, I'm serious. I feel like it's like some level of someone being caught off guard in some type of way. Because especially when it's followed up with the three of wands, with this like you know, cyclone in this water, you know, what is this, in this sinkhole, what is, whatever that thing is called. Um, I don't know why I'm just getting like a cyclone or something like that, because I don't think that there's a lot of water around you, but I'm definitely getting it like a, a wave, like it's like a sucking wave of emotion. It's like it's trying to pull you in and drag you downwards almost. It's like, it's like, and now I'm seeing like a tidal wave. It's like you just chilling in the oceans. It's like everything is tranquil. Your emotions are peace. And just all of a sudden it's like this storm starts brewing. And before you can get out of the water, it's like, you know, a whirlpool. Boom. It's like a whirlpool or something that's just like sucks you in or a tidal wave or something that sucks and like pulls you into like the deepest part of your emotions again. And it's like. I want to say it's like you kind of get cut off guard with this information or this, um, they're saying some level of atrocity because it was like, yeah, with this Empress in the reverse here, it throws you off so bad and it's like almost it's like your child is watching you going through this the knight of wands in the reverse i want to say it's like you could have possibly like lost your temper in some type of way like and i want to say like your child is watching you become unraveled a little bit this is this is like I want to say this, this whirlpool of emotions right here. I think that this is why you decided to like redevelop yourself over here. It's some reason why I'm like keeping this separate. It's like you had to change. I want to say it's something about your temper it's like something about a temperament almost um it's something about that that needed to like decrease or needed to calm down a little bit you know what i'm saying um i want to say because it's like because when i see the knight of wands and the upright even though this isn't the typical depiction of the knight of wands it is in a situation i feel like it very much so is because it's like typically when you see the knight of wands you're excited it's like a sudden you know this person is like their sudden arrival it's like they're coming in red hot you know everyone is like fully engaged we're being active like everyone's smiling laughing there's food there's like toast everyone's dressed to impress we're going out we're you know spending a night on the town it's like all of this enjoyment i don't know it's like i'm you know it's like when the night of wands come around you it's like you feel like this this influx of energy like it's just like everyone's happy you know um but it's something about this energy that i feel like that lets you down it lets you down in a certain way. It's like you don't even look at the Knight of Wands anymore as when they come around that they're bringing this peace, prosperity, this love, abundance, this positive health, this wealth, this like creativity, this creative spirit, this, you know, this magic, you know, um, the beat of the drums, the sound of the music, the move of the hips, the song off of the lips, the wave in the hair, like, you know, the dress and the step, like everything, like that's the Knight of Wands, jazz, music, like artistry, like acrobatics, sports, like that's, you know, it makes you excited, like we're going to the gym, we're going to see the circus, we're going to, uh, 
a hair show. We're going to, you know, it's like all of that. It's, I want to say this shit died. This shit died, bruh. It died. Because it's like, um, there was no full acceptance in some type of way. It wasn't long lasting. It was very high in spirit, but it wasn't a long lasting type of thing. Like at all. Um, and I want to say in the past, you used to let the um, let down. Just like someone coming down off of a high almost. You know, like if you ever like taking a drug and it's like trying to come down off of the drug, and it's like you just like the letdown is like trash. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh my God. So listen, the letdown is trash. And I feel like you might have particularly participated in some trashy behavior. You let this person or these people or this experience like I want to say, like, destroy your reputation. It's just, like, people see you and they just see the anger or this episode or this explosion or something. Or people have told people this about you or something. And it's, like, it's kind of, like, destroyed your repu your reputability. Am I saying that right? It's, like, your rep. It's, like, people see this, this quick temper. This It's, like... Almost to the point where it, it's like easily anger, easily upset a little bit. Um, this empress in the reverse, it's like you're trying so much to be versatile because of the constant letdowns and things. And it's like you're trying to be both the feminine and the masculine energy and not let your daughter see the aggressiveness so much because... That's where you feel like it's like you stepping off of your throne a little bit because I want to say it's like some type of volatile anger or behavior or something from some letdowns or someone that is just like ill put it. It is like they don't belong here and it's like every time you come around or you don't bring excitement and joy anymore, you just make me upset. You make me angry and it's like I'm tired of being angry. I'm tired of being disgruntled. I'm tired of the confusion. I'm tired of what it's showing my kids. You know what I'm saying? Like this is not what I want it to be. Period. Like period. Um, it's like I want to kind of slow things down. Like I don't like. I feel like whoever it was that used to come in and out or whatever, and y'all used to get so excited when the person used to come around. It's like, oh, it was like, like, like as if they're bringing cotton candy and presents and stuff. It's like this motherfucker's not coming through to bring nothing but bullshit. It's, it's like now that you look back at it, this is what you see this person coming around. This is what this person was really doing. So, you, you know, you might, you might have slowed down the frequency. A little bit I don't know if you've like and it's not because you don't want the person to see your kids their kids I, I, I don't know why I'm feeling like it's like a mother like not allowing someone that they feel is toxic emotionally um, because I feel like it's the way that this person triggers her um, like not letting this person see the kids or something like that it's like protecting yourself and protecting your kids because it's like the more and more you let this person come around the more disgruntled and the more it's like you misbehave in your temperament it's just like off and it's like you don't want to teach that to your kids you don't want to keep exposing that to your kids it's like you want happiness come around you know it's like that's why it's like you're trying to move forward. You're trying to move. You know what I'm saying? You finally, your ships have come in. You are finally selling along. But it's like you're still getting sucked into this whirlpool. So it's like, it's like you don't get far without something just coming to hit you that like catches you off guard. So the Seven of Wands is like gossip. It's like rumors. It's like vicious lies. Things being said about you. Things being spread. Things going around like silent whispers 
Like when you walk into a room, everyone gets quiet and the awkward stares and people not acting the same. It's like some bullshit like that. And it's like, what the hell is going on? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, what is going on? Like, seriously, I'm just trying to grow. I'm just trying to listen. Progress past this stage in my life. But it's like, regardless of what I do, I still feel like I'm getting sucked in. I feel like people almost want this behavior out of me. It's like, why are you guys talking about me? Why are you whispering about me? Like, it's like you're almost wondering, like, what the fuck are these people saying? You know what I'm saying? Like, literally, it's like, ooh. And it's something about the clock is ticking. It's like something is going to... I don't know why I feel like this is, I'm serious, I feel like this is the devil coming to collect payment for something. Why am I feeling like that? Like it's something, why am I getting that here? It's like something, and it's like you're tr you're trying to walk by and like, all right, I'm gonna I'm gonna give it to you later. Like I'll give it to you later, and it's like, all right, I'm gonna give you a little bit more time. It's something about that. I don't know why I'm getting that when I see that in the upright. And it's like someone has their sword, right? Who has the sword? No, this is not a sword. This is a candle. And you see, do you see how this person is pointing? It's like saying you. You're you owe me something. It's like you owe me something. It's like no, no, no. It's not me. Like I don't, I don't owe you. Like I do have a debt, but it's not my. I, I'm supposed to be. It, mine's is next month. It's like it's not me. No, my name is something, something Smith. It's not this, this, and that. Blah blah blah. What the fuck, bro? A debt has to be paid. A debt for something. A debt for something. It's like you can't. It's like someone is not being allowed to trespass and go far before they honor a debt. That's why that whirlpool came. It's like you owe me something. I remember you. You don't think I forgot, do you? Like, you owe me something. You owe me something. You owe me something. I don't know. I want to I wanna be nosy in this bitch, you guys. I really, really do. Ooh. I really do. I want the Egyptian tarot. And let me go to the Kippa Don't Skipper. And it's going to be a long reading, so y'all might as well just go ahead and just buckle your seatbelts because it's about to be a long reading. Because, like, this is, like, on some other shit because I don't know why. It's a lot of aggressiveness here, and it's a lot of let down. It's, like, let down and someone being put out and being put off. Something... Like being put off and someone trying to protect their children. I want to say trying to protect their children from themselves almost. It's like from their anger. I, I want to say almost it's like someone could be taking their anger and their frustration from somebody else's doing. It's like you you let some. It's like someone let someone come in and constantly let them down and destroy something. You know? And it's like they're taking it out on other people on it it's like they know what they're doing and whoever this is about like they know what the hell I'm talking about and for some reason it's like you're trying to move on and move past it because the empress in the reverse could be like someone that realizes that like they're not being the best mother they're not like whatever they got going on isn't the best kept secret you know what I'm saying so Again, it's like someone's temperament is possibly not the most best kept secret. 
You know, it's like you may go through your in and out stages of you have good control of it. And then sometimes you just go to fuck off. I don't know why I'm getting this like someone going to fuck off on their children for disappointments in their life. It's like they take that shit out on their kids. It's like someone taking something out on their kids. And it's like they're trying to move on. But it's like some type of, it's some type of, someone's accusing this person of something. It's catching them the fuck off guard. Because in the Seven of Wands, it's like, in the upright, it's like you're prepared and you're standing up for yourself or something. And it's like, you know, you're being accused of some shit is coming at you crazy. But it's like you standing up for yourself and not backing down. Seven of Wands in the reverse is like either you avoiding some shit or you being hit head on with some bullshit that you didn't see coming. And the way I'm looking at this shit is like you, you ain't see this shit coming. And it's like someone, is, someone owes a death. Like you can't go that far. You owe me something too. It's like a lot of anger. Frustration. It's like someone is really trying... They've had to go within, and they've been by their self. They've been alone for a minute, like, deeply going inside, doing some soul searching, trying to figure things out, like, really trying to manifest. Why I'm, like, getting bankruptcy, too, like, someone might have went through some bankruptcy. It's, like, trying to... Okay. What is this? Yeah, the family room. Get, clarify the family room for me. You got the gift. Clarify the family room and the gift. A message. So it's like... There was some information that came into this family. It was like a surprise. A surprise. Care for the gift. Toil and labor. Mature woman. So. Honestly like. Especially with these cards up here. It's like someone could have. It's like you could have thought, you know, finally your ships have came in. Things are going in the direction. Like you could have left a lot of things in the past. You could have been going forward and everything like that. But um, it's like you're kind of getting caught off guard with this tidal wave, this sinkhole coming through. It's like sucking you in emotionally. It's like being accused of, it's like being accused of like giving it's like giving into it's like like messages it's like messages like someone is like giving receiving communication um I want to say disrupt some family it's like disrupt some family because this toil and labor right here with the mature woman. So it's like some type of woman here, an older woman that in this situation is like having to put in a lot of hard work, a lot of dedication into a situation where it, I don't feel like it really should have to be that hard. Like this could be her family room here. She could be caught off guard like this. Someone is receiving gifts and receiving messages you know what I'm saying? From so someone is being accused of something. Someone is being caught off guard with something. And as soon as someone thought their ships had came in, they were feeling lucky. They were feeling blessed. They were getting to the other side where, you know, calmer waters and all of this positivity and these blessings are. This fucking storm comes and it's just like, well, what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? Like, what the hell is going on? And it's like... It's like someone was receiving messages, someone was receiving communication, someone was giving gifts or something like that. It could be 
to their family, to someone of their family. It could be that this person has another family somewhere, like the Empress. This could be this person, the child's mother or something. Um, I want to say that there's a hard-working older woman. I mean, the Knight of Wands is someone that's in and out, you know, like the playboy, the player that, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, it's just non-committal energy, you know? Something that's only good while the getting is good. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, as soon as your time is out, I gotta go. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Da da da. I'll be back in the future. I don't know when I'm coming back, but whatever. And it's like someone is like, there's like some type of ongoing stress here in his family room. Like this woman could be the one, this older woman could be the one that's working, that's paying all the bills, is doing everything. You know what I'm saying? While there's someone else like destroying the house, running around. It could be running to go see their baby mother or something like that. Like whoever this Empress in the reverse is. Because it's like she's upset too. You know what I'm saying? It also is like whatever this woman is working for, he could be messaging and giving gifts to to pay off the empress or something like that. You know what I'm saying? Give me guidance from the hermit over here. Give me two cards for this hermit. You got concern. Well, we already know the hermit got concern. You got the main female child. Listen, I told you. Great fortune. Courtship. I told you. Y'all renew that. So again, it's like <clears throat> it's like I'm not trying to go through this shit again. I feel like there's someone, it's like I feel like the Empress right here is the main woman. Like this is like the child's mother. Again, like this is the child. Again, it's like this is the child's mother. Looks just like her. This is like the mother of the children or something. And I, I want to, I'm serious. I feel like this woman, for some reason, she's being a bad mother because she is showing this type of behavior. Because it's like this destructive behavior. It's like you're allowing this man to come in and out of the house and in the family or something it's like even like this you could know that th this person is dating or has a family or a household somewhere with an older woman and she's working and shit and she he could be taken from her to give to you and it's like you could think this shit is cute or it's like it's some type of like negative cause effect here. And that's like why it's like even though you're trying to move away from things. Someone's trying to move away from something. But they keep getting caught in their tracks because they're being accused of. They're being accused of something. And it's like you're thinking like okay well I'm just going to leave shit behind. Because every time I allow this person in and out of my life. They're just bringing out a negative side around me. And I don't want to bring this around my kids no more. Right. You're absolutely right. But at the same time, it's like some... There's some negative cause and effect of... You accepting these gifts. You accepting... It's like you're still communicating with this person in some type of way. That is still bringing you some type of hardship. And, it, and God, it's like they're saying you need to... There needs to be a confession. Like... You know, it's like some, you know what you're doing is wrong here. You really do. It's like it's like this person is still. It's like this person still has concerns. They're thinking about their fortune. They're thinking about their fate. They still think that themselves as the main woman. You know, the main woman. And it's something. It's like. This person feels like there's some type of fate. There's some type of luxury in this courtship. It's like this person is mine. This is 
my prize this is my gift this is my treasure it's like you know it's like this person has some type of concerns about their position and as the main woman you know what I'm saying like I know this person is dealing with the older woman but I'm the main woman it's like this type of ugh. it's like ugh. ugh. it's like I just heard, I've kept quiet and like it's not now I'm ready to like come out with it. It's like um it's like almost like to profess my truth or something like that. Like I'm the main woman, like he's really been with me. He's you know, it's like he's been with me the whole time. Like I'm the mother of his children. Like it's something I I don't know why I feel like it's like a confession of something. It's like I wanna say it's like almost Oh shit. It's like almost someone talking shit. I don't know. It's like almost like someone talking shit a little bit. Give me some more guidance here. Ooh. I catch my thing on fire. The seven of wands in the reverse. So again, it's like you could avoid some type of conflict. You couldn't avoid it. You know what I'm saying? It's like... But it's like to some level, it's like someone is still putting their self in like a line of fire or something to be accused of some bullshit. Like that's what I'm getting. It's like you should like. It's not not that I'm saying like that you should back down, but I feel like it's like someone is going to be ill prepared for the things that are being said about them, and they're not going to be able to defend yourself you know what I'm saying for it's like whatever it is that people are saying that you're doing because it's like are you sending is it has this person been sending you gifts have you been messaging this person back and forth while this woman is working and 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 she doesn't know anything about this like this person has already destroyed your home and and you know and what is this person really doing for your kids you know or something like that so it's like why are you Thinking that you're going to go, go, why do you think that you're going to be able to move forward without no problem and without, you know, something coming back to backfire on you? You got the higher fence. Just like some type of commitment, dedication. It says the king of swords in the reverse. So, like, this is someone that is like, I want to say confused about their self. This person doesn't really know what they want. Like, I want to say this person could uh, look at their self as some type of a leader or a teacher. Or like he may have people under him that think that they're students or the apprentice to some bullshit. That this, <laughs> some stupid rhetoric that this person. And then you got the devil right next to the child. Then you got the fucking devil. Child and then the Knight of Chalices and the and the Lord in the name of the Lord have mercy help me Jesus. So again, remember I was I was literally just saying like this is a, and look remember I was saying look at this thing and look at look at the Seven of Wands. So, <laughs> okay, listen. Where the fuck did this wild ass shit just come out, yeah? I want to say, y'all, y'all watch the fuck of Pisces. Um, Jesus, y'all watch the fuck of Pisces uh, uh, reading. Because I want to say like the Hierophant and the Devil came out in the same spread. I'm serious. I think it was in the Pisces video. Y'all listen. It's like someone could avoid it being caught off guard by this bullshit. It's like... It's like some type of predictable behavior in regards to this hierophant, this goddamn um, K 
king of swords in the reverse, the devil and the knight of chalices in the reverse. So it's like someone having the feeling and the asphyxiation on you and feeling like they could come and go as they please. You're going to be committed. You're dedicated to the belief system that this person is kicking to you. It doesn't matter if it's the truth or not. Like they have some type of hypnotic hold or pill over you. There is some type of lust, sensation, temptation that you can't get rid of. It may be some type of emotional sickness. Like I want to say like this when this person's in your life, it feels so good. It feels so desirable. You feel so weak to it. And as soon as they leave, it's like you want to purge. It's like you almost want to throw up like everything that they put inside of you. <laughs> Especially if you're allowing them to like busting you and shit like that it's like you want to throw up or something like that like again and again i'm like okay now they're saying fucking pregnancy um but it's like i want to say like an unplanned pregnancy or some shit like that it's like you allowing someone you could avoid this situation like you could avoid being accused of messing with someone's man or like committing yourself to some type of organized thinking organized group it's like so low vibrational it's like no one understands it but you and the bullshit ass people that you are surrounding yourself to this is the fucking high listen the hierophant followed up by the king of fucking swords in the reverse like this type of leadership is something that you do not want no type of involvement with this motherfucker will lie cheat and swindle and have you believe in the fucking most but this is like a cult level thing this is girl with the devil next to are you fucking are you fucking kidding me this is like some type of cult level preaching like this motherfucker don't love no goddamn body do you understand what i'm saying do you understand what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't even know how you get mixed up with individuals and group like thinking like this. This is like a group of people that like partition or like patronize this type of idealization and thinking and traditional type of bullshit. I don't know who, where the fuck. I don't know if y'all are trying to say, oh, this is my ancestors. They're like, no, this is some bullshit, bruh. Like, y'all, this like some, this some shit that ain't right right here. You know what I'm saying? It's not fucking right. This motherfucker got somebody over here. It's like someone sent up there telling, oh, yeah, back my ancestors used to have many wives. as many wives. Like, bullshit. 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 And with this hyperfit, I'm looking at this hyperfit in the reverse, like, this hyperfit in the reverse could also represent, like, someone that needs to spend a little bit more time to themselves to, like, really develop their own thoughts, their own thinking, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, your own thoughts, your own thinking. Not this institutionalized thinking that someone is making you believe or, it's like, I don't know why I'm getting, like, some type of brainwashing. It's like... This shit, and I feel like it's, why am I getting like a fucking cult? I'm getting like it's some type of weird fucking witchy, bippy boppity boo fucking cult, spiritual fucking, I don't, and it's like some type of, it, it's, it, it's, it's like sick because it's like, it's like people that you would think is highly spiritual, but they being the most fucking peasant life street fucking chronicle drama bullshit that you that's my baby mama that's my baby father that's my spiritual husband that's my this that's my dad i was fucking with him well that's my blah 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 and this this and that and this this and that and i give him gifts and this points and the nurse anoints my spirit and like i someone prophesized over us and like it's some weird ass shit bruh please give me guidance here lord and this is my last one for the goddamn day you got the knight of hearts so the nine of hearts is like some type of like a wish granted, you know, some type of emotional fulfillment, wish granted, satisfaction, you know, to it's like if you wish to forget anything on the spot, make note that this thing is to remember. So again, it's like, remember I'm saying like some type of cult like shit. So it was like if you wish to remember anything. 
If you wish to forget anything on the spot, make note that this thing is to be remembered. Like, don't fully forget yourself. Like, regardless if you're, like, fully fulfilled at this time and this moment with whatever the fuck this is. Like, don't, like, completely lose sight of, like... You know, don't lose sight of, of like common sense and gosh, the nine of hearts. What is the nine of hearts? It means a wish, a hope, a dream, aspiration, your wishes coming true, success, accomplishment, desire, fulfill, a positive outcome. So it's again like but this this is still like a wish. This is a wish, it's not reality. It's like, you know, it's not reality. It's like high wishes, high positive thoughts on something. Ugh, give me guidance. Ooh, child. Give me guidance for Sagittarius in this situation. You got 444. Four, four. Alright. Speak balance into this situation. Come on. You got the force. And you got the 444, four, four, and then you got the black and white, Lord Jesus. It says your hard work and determination is creating blessings, 444, four, four, foundations for the future, child. And then you got black. You got lack, rebellion, and pessimism. I don't know. And then you got the hammer over here, the force, and the reverse. So, remember, what you put out, you get in right back. So, whatever you've been working hard towards, like it's... You know, you're receiving success in that situation, but it's saying something like it seems like the balance is lack, rebellion, and pessimism. It's like, again, like this is like some type of low vibrational church. It's like, did y'all don't? It's like, who somebody is, ugh, man, I don't know who's ill teaching. It, it's like they try to like mask that they are a good spiritual group or something like that. But it's like they're really teaching you. It's like they're lying to you. They're teaching you like literally the most lowest of low fucking. Do you, do you understand what I'm saying? It's, listen, you got the Hierophant with the King of Swords in the reverse next to the devil. It's like this person, it, this group, it tries to make it seem like they're very high vibrational, that they're very high spiritual and all of this stuff, but they're lying to you. They're really teaching you like some type of dark arts, dark behavior or like bad shit. Do you understand what I'm saying? Listen, this is, it's not love with the, it's not, it's not, it's not like the, the, Knight of Knight of Hearts in the verse is someone that only loves itself. You understand what I'm saying? Like self gratification, self. You know what I'm saying? Like treat people like doorways. As long as you make me feel good, as long as I get what I want. You know what I'm saying? So it's like whatever someone has been working hard towards is like it's bringing them some type of lack. And I was like, I don't know why it's like it's like you need to stop trying to force yourself in this situation. Stop trying to hammer at something so hard. It's like, you know what I'm saying? You're it's like you're trying to rebel. And if what you've been working towards is like this rebel group, this 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 what they're teaching you, this is and this is what the outcome is. Lack. Pessimism. If you wake up every morning, you're not feeling happy. You're not feeling sure of yourself. Like you feel like, oh, I just want to run away. Like every look, I just want to take my kids. I want to run away and get out of here. But it's like you can't even go that far. You're still being accused of shit. It's just like, yeah, this is this is this is no vibrational group. This is some bullshit. It's like, listen, if this is what you've been working at, and if this is what you've been practicing. Like, if this is what you've been practicing and this is what you've been studying and this has been your belief system and the way that you've been operating, you're getting that energy back. You're getting your wishes. Do you understand what I'm saying? So, it's like if your wishes is to get yourself mixed up in this little courtship bullshit or whatever, it's like your wishes is being granted. It's like <laughs> you're, you're continuously putting yourself in a place of lack. You need to stop forcing yourself into the situation. Like if, 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 like whatever this person wants to do, let this person do it. If this person is over here, let this person stay over here. 
I don't give a fuck if that's your baby father or die. You know what I'm saying? Because it's, it's, it's just fucking crazy. Like, this is craziness right here. This is craziness. Mm -mm. What is this? You got the Emperor. All right. It's a card of the Taurus. So this is like, you know, the boss, masculine energy, um, someone that is like a dedicated father, a dedicated leader. Um, this is someone that a lot of people look up to, um, a warrior, a fighter, um, I don't know if I'm saying that right. I'm not even going to say that goddamn. It's like a warrior. So it's like, I want to say, it's like fighting over the control of the emperor. Of the divine masculine. Get the fuck out of here with that bullshit. Y'all be blowing me with that dumb shit. What is this? The star in the reverse. So again, this is someone that is like lack of faith, lack of belief system. It's like, you know, I don't know if you, it's like you no longer believe that he sees you as the star. It's like you no longer twinkle in his eye. For some reason, and it's like, it's like someone is being accused of some type of bullshit. It's like some type of fall, and again, I don't know why I feel like fall from grace. Like the star, it's like literally like the star, it's like the shining star, it's like the only one that this man sees, it's like he doesn't see me like that anymore. It's like, again, like. The concerns of like this person being the main woman. The main woman. And this person being the star. This person being the trophy. This person receiving the courtship. You know? So it's like... I don't want to be alone anymore. It's like I don't want to be... You know what I'm saying? I don't want to sit back and think about this shit anymore. It's like, you know, I'm having concerns about, like, I'm concerned about this. Or this is what you might have been thinking about inside. You might have been harboring this shit inside. And it's like, you might not have come to terms with that yet. And it's like, you might still be soul searching. Like, why doesn't this person see me as a star anymore? I'm being caught totally off guard. Like, this is my wish. This is what I want. I want my emperor back, you know, like... But I'm starting to lose all hope and faith in this situation. Knight of Cups in the verse. I really do feel like this person doesn't love me anymore. This person may be in love with someone else with the devil. But there's still some type of temptation. There's still some type of lust. There's still some type of desire. Whenever this person comes and calls, I'm going to open up the door. I'm going to open up the door. But at the same time, I know this person has been lying to me when I ask them where have they gone. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's this toxic soul connection that it's like you can't control you know that it's not like positive that there's no love there and this motherfucker is lying to you but you cannot control yourself listen you still committed and you're still being accused of messing around with like somebody else's man or being involved with this bullshit and it's like but you're at the same time supposed to be in this group with this high friend it's like you're supposed to be able to control yourself like and everything but it's like I, I don't I don't I don't get this situation at all like this is crazy as fuck crazy as fucking shit Let's, what is this the seven of pentacles in the reverse and what is this the tower in the reverse. Lord Jesus, help me. Okay, so this is the seven of pentacles in the reverse. It just came out right here. Well, I'm going to put it in the upright. Well, because it came out like it was like this. So I'm going to put it in the upright. This is someone like um, planning, waiting, anticipating, still putting a lot of energy in, still like checking the temperature of the soil, pruning the branches, tending to the fruit. 
making sure that you're using natural pesticides. It's like this is someone putting a lot of energy and effort into something like anticipating like a full outcome into something. It's like, you know, like some type of, yeah, and like it says, reevaluation. Um, like I said, it's like checking the temperature of something. Like still waiting. You got the tower in it reverse though. And it's like, it's basically telling you, it's like, after everything that you've learned, like you should have learned so much about yourself. You should have learned so much about the situation, how to make things grow. What type of positive things that there are to put your energy in. If the universe has showed you already. And when you sit back and you wait and you put your energy in this shit like this. The London Bridge is going to fall on your edge each and every time. You may try to re-put the bridge back up. Do some patchwork. Once it's broken, it will always fall. Sooner or later, it will come down. Do you understand? So be careful what you be waiting for. If it's something that God himself wants to destroy it don't matter what little spiritual group and what type of kumbaya and him ya whatever the fuck y'all be singing and y'all be chanting and y'all give a fuck do you understand if it's meant to come down it will come down so pay attention to when you doing all that him in the heart him in the heart him in the heart listen Make sure your ass ain't standing up under that structure when Launder Bridge comes down. Still putting your energy into some shit. Waiting on something that is doomed and damned for destruction. And you know it. And you can't even say you're being falsely accused of something. You're being accused of something that you have rightfully and willfully been participating in. Because it's been your wish. Because you want this emperor. You know, you've lost hope and faith in the situation, but you keep trying because it's still your wish. It's still your wish. It's still your wish. And it's like someone had jumped out their body, out of their character. They're committing their self to some type of whatever the fuck this is. Give me something right here for this spread, Father God, because I just look. What is this? The courtway, the path house. So it's like, again, it's like some type of law. It's like some type of spiritual law that's like blocking someone's path or something like that. Because remember, you have the Hierophant and then you have the devil down there and then you got the goddamn... The goddamn group leader, the damn king of swords in the reverse. So it's like manipulating something in a way where someone's path is blocked. It's like using some spiritual law, some, you know, something like that. Like, I, I can't with that. Let me just get some runs and we get out of here, child. Because I done already gave y'all too much, child. Y'all done... I need to do a little baby. You don't have to pay for it and read it. Give me God as the secretary. Please. You should not be starting off the year like this. Oh, Lord. No, man. <clears throat> oh, Lord. This means self-sabotage and avoidance. It's like you're avoiding what you know that you need to do. Someone should not be accused of the bullshit that they've been accused of. You should have not been... Like, this is someone's home. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is someone's home. Like, you should not be receiving messages or receiving gifts from anybody. This is someone else's home that this woman worked her ass off. This uh, this woman. It don't mean that this woman is older than you. She could have just spent more time in it than you. Like, you, you, you should. This was her home. 
to put a whole bunch of stress in and bullshit on somebody else like bruh this this ain't that 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 no that's not good at all bruh like that's <laughs> that's the fuck not good man that's not good and then what is this right here was this already up like this I don't know, but listen, this ain't good neither, all right? This right here is not good either. This is like, all right, so two, typically it's supposed to be, okay, yes. Typically it's supposed to be faced like this. If it's like this or if it's like this, you know, I'm taking this as a sign of like, honestly, um, like there's some type of hatred, spite. Um, this means betrayal, child life, uh, childlike attitude, irresponsibility. Um, the bad man or the bad woman means evil. You know, torment. Um, <laughs> means compulsion, danger, immaturity selfishness failure to do the right thing avoid now pay later like that's what this means and remember i told you that this means self-sabotage right here this means self-sabotage so it's like remember when i said something about and you see it this little group down here whatever this type of fucking practice here with the devil and the higher fin and the King of uh, and the King of Goddamn Swords in the Reverse. Remember when I said something about up here? It was it, it's like this person is like, where are you going? Don't you owe me something? Where are you going? I like I don't know what this is about right here. But someone's cock is ticking. Somebody owes something, and it's like you're trying to avoid something, and it's like you know what you was doing. You know how you was doing it. You know the shit that you was mixed up in. You know the shit that you've been accused of. Bottom line. There is someone that's an innocent victim of someone's bad behavior behind someone trying to worry about this. Because someone's so concerned about the divine masculine. Avoid now. Pay later. Remember I told you. Look, you avoid me now. Like, like I told you. And letting you go. But you're going to have to answer for this shit. You're going to. You're going to pay. So you could go ahead and take your light. And see your way out of it this time. But you're not going to be able to keep skipping past this shit. You know. Next time I'm going to catch your ass off guard. And I'm serious. I'm so serious. Y'all. So listen, I'm about to get the fuck up out of here because this is too much drama for me. I love y'all. Make sure y'all love yourself, yeah. Please make sure because like I told you, three of wands, this should be a clear path. Why is there a storm on your clear path? And I've gotten this card and I've read it different ways before. But you got to look at the shit that's around this shit and it's like somebody else's temper. It's like your temper as well. Because of your back and forth and keep allowing something, it's like, and it's like this person to keep allowing the back and forth too. And it's like you're showing your kids this shit, and it's like, ah, ugh. I love y'all. Peace.